Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and Christine is with me today again to highlight Marie Jose Bloom's wonderful, wonderful workshop called Core Motivations that will just ramp up your teaching skills. I was just telling Christine, I've watched it so many times and keep getting so much from it. You know, that's part of um, how we learn. We learn something, we forget it, and then we learn it again. <laughs> and it comes out of us in a whole different way, right? And that's kind of how we build our teaching lens, too. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at um, what Marie jo Jose calls our functional tripod of our foot. Now usually when we talk about the corners of the feet or the tripod of the feet, some people say ball of the big toe, the pinky toe, and the center of the heel. Some people say um, the corners of each side of the heel and the pinky toe and the big toe. So Marie Jose is um, asking us to think about this um, in the way that we're actually articulating as we walk and in the way that we um, hold our vertical alignment when standing, so um, postural alignment in gravity. So you want to think about, and I'll explain this in a moment, you want to think about you go from your fifth metatarsal to where the, that bump is and right behind it that's going to be your cuboid. And then when we walk, right, it's from that cuboid spot, we do a diagonal, this is important, the diagonal to the um, ball of the big toe, and of course this would be on the bottom of the foot, but for learning we're putting it on the top of the foot, right? And then, um, and then finally to that pinky toe side of your foot. Um, so, and, and this, Marie Jose doesn't say this in the video, but this is how, when I watched it and through my lens, <laughs> what I really got inspired from her, is that in every part of our body, stability is in the mobility in our body. And that's never so true as it is in the foot. We can never have stability in the foot unless we have optimal mobility. So, this is a little origami that um, a student of mine made me in Japan, and um, just little sushi flyers. So this could be any part of the body. Marie Jose also has one of these in her workshops, right? And so if I place this down, right, or maybe we'll do her right foot, and that's her big toe, that's her foot flat position. So even in sort of a relaxed foot flat position, we still have to have an, an enormous amount of spiral and mobility in the foot. When we go into our push-off stage, when we're walking, right, we have to even have more spiral in the foot. And this is actually a locked position of the foot, which we want to find when we come up onto the ball of the foot. And that talks to all the way up through the, the sacrum in the lower back. And Marie Jose talks about um, the mechanics of that in the workshop, which is just mind-blowing and, and wonderful. Um, and so the point of this also is that when we are in standing, when we're countering gravity, uh, the weight bearing of the foot is actually more to the front of the heel more to the front of the talus. And that way, when we're in standing, then we can actually bring the femur head over the talus, right? And then we can actually use our center of gravity to find more vertical length, more support through the spine. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.